Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're all doing well. I was really, really impressed yesterday with your beautiful drawings of all the different things the caterpillar ate on the different days. So you did really well there matching the pictures to the name name of the days of the week. But now we're going to do it vice versa. So I've given you the pictures and now you need to try and write the days of the week. But don't worry, I'm here to help you. Let's get started. So let's start with our do now. Can you spot the adjectives? Are they accurate? So is the caterpillar was big and spotty. The caterpillar was big and spotty. Hmm. So we are describing the caterpillar, but how did we describe it? What adjectives did we use? I'll read it one more time. The caterpillar was big and spotty. What are my two adjectives? Big and Spotty, super work. But were they accurate? Have a little look at my um, caterpillar. Is he big? Is he spotty? No, he's not. So Miss Houston has, actually, why don't you try and come up with two adjectives to describe my caterpillar and then I'll tell you my ones. It can be absolutely anything. The caterpillar was mm and mm. Okay, my turn. The caterpillar was small and long. So my two adjectives were small and long. Excellent. Right. Miss Houston has hidden some pictures behind these boxes. Do you think you could guess what they are? I'll show you a teeny bit of each of them. And you have to try and guess what they could be. Oh, maybe if I go down that way, you could guess there. Right, what do we think this one could be? What could be behind this box? <gasps> Excellent, the butterfly. What could be behind this box? Excellent, the egg. And last but not least, who could be behind this one? The caterpillar, good work. So, our high frequency word of the week is was. 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 Super. The caterpillar was green and yellow. Your turn. Super work. Now I want you to come up with a sentence using the word was. Excellent work reception, well done. So today we are learning to write our days of the week. And days of the week are kind of like ordinal words too because you're putting them in order. Because ordinal words put things in order. These days of the week put our story in order, don't they? Because they start on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. So. Ordinal words put things in order. Excellent. Right. Um, we are go. I'm going to come over here to you, and we're going to go through our days of the week. So we're going to start. I know usually we start with Sunday, but we are going to start with Monday because our story starts with Monday. So let's go. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday and Sunday and then we go back to Monday. OK, I'm going to give you the first sound of each of the days of the week and you're going to finish. Mm. Ch. Tuesday, w. Wednesday, th. Thursday, th. Friday, th. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, good job. Let's see if you can do it all by yourself. Excellent work. Right. So what we are going to ask you to do is we are going to match the pictures to the correct day of the week. So 
this one says on a Monday he ate hmm, he ate one apple didn't he so on Monday he ate one apple on you a Tuesday he ate two pears. Excellent. On Wednesday, Wednesday, he ate, what did he eat? Three plums. On Thursday, Thursday, he ate four strawberries. And on Friday, Friday, he ate five oranges. Okay, super work. Now, I want you to help me match the pictures to the correct days of the week. So now we need to sound out the days of the week. So what's the sound? You're going to sound it out for me. Once I point to the sound, I want you to say it, okay? A-N-D-A. Mm. Uh, mm, Monday, excellent. Let's do the next one. T U S D A Tuesday. Brilliant. Let's do the next one, that tricky one. W A D N S D A Wednesday. I know you've sounded out probably Wednesday, but we're doing, we say Wednesday. Right, let's go again. Thursday, Thursday, and last but not least, Friday, Friday. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, what did our caterpillar eat on Monday? The Apples, super work. You can shout it out to me when you know which one it is. On Tuesday, what did our caterpillar eat? On Tuesday, two pears, super. On Wednesday, Wednesday, three plums, excellent. Thirst. A Thursday, what did he eat? Strawberries. And finally, on a Friday, what did he eat? The oranges. Super, super work. So let's go through our days of the week one more time. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Excellent. Now, I'm going to take us over to our task, our written task. Once you have done that, you can rewind it back and pause on this word bank to help you with our days of the week if you want. If you do have the sheet, I have the, uh, if you do have the task sheet, I do have the days of the week on the bottom of it. But if you don't have the task sheet and you need um, to copy down the, the, the days of the week, you can come back to this slide here. Okay, so let's go over now and have a look at our task for the day. Now. So here is our task. That's our task from yesterday. That could also help you. Monday, Tuesday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So today our task is, I've given you the pictures, so it's like just the opposite of what we did the other day. So given you the pictures, but now you need to write the days of the week. And don't worry, boys and girls, because look, Miss Houston has given you, it's very hard to do this because this, um, the visualizer can't see everything, but I have given you a word bank at the bottom to help you with your spellings of the days of the week. You just have to make sure you read them carefully. A, Monday, A, Tuesday, A, Wednesday, A, Thursday, I, A, Friday, oops, Sat, er, d a Saturday and s and a Sunday. So you go up here, you have a look at the first picture and the first picture is an apple. So you have to think to yourself, hmm, what day did my, our caterpillar eat one apple? Hmm. If you need some help, have a look here. Monday he ate one apple, so I need to write Monday. Oh man, I don't know how to spell Monday. Well, there's a few places you can look. Your sheet from yesterday or in the word bank at the bottom. Have a look for the one that begins with mm for Monday. Mm, Monday, excellent. So make sure you give all your days of the week a capital letter, boys and girls. All of our days of the week take a capital letter. So I'm going to do a capital M, mm, M, mm, ah, M, mm, ah, N, mm, mm, and D, day. Two Fred fingers. D, A, day. Again, D, A, day. So a d and a special friend. So that's Monday. Right. What day did he eat two pairs? So let's go through our days a week. Monday, ch Tuesday. Now, ch ch Tuesday. It sounds like a ch, like a when our um, caterpillar and our horse come together and say a chew, but it's actually not that. It's a t and an u. Uh. So you have to go to your word bank if you don't know how to spell it. Tuesday, t, u, uh, s, choose, d, a. Ah, there it is. So I'm going to go back up here. Capital t for Tuesday. T. Oh, you can't even see. Sorry, boys and girls. A, uh, a, uh, Day, oh my gosh, I know how to spell day. D, A, day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Right, Wednesday, let's spell it Wednesday. Wednesday. So let's spell wed first. Three fried fingers. W, E, D, wed. Capital W. W. A, D, Ness, N, S, Ness, Wed, Ness, Day. We know how to spell day. All your practice with Miss Quadri and those special friends, you are whizzes at them. Wed, Ness, Day. Excellent. Right. Our next day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Excellent. So I'm going to have a look here. Which sound makes a th, th, th sound? No, no, no. Yes, th, er, s, day. Okay. 
I'm going to do my capital because our days of the week take a capital letter. The. Oh, I'm not too sure how to spell the rest. I'm going to double check. Uh, er, er, is, OK, I'm going to cover it now and see if I can do it by myself. Uh, er, Thursday. We could do day with our eyes closed now, couldn't we, boys and girls? Yeah. Thursday. Super. Right. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. Oh, I don't even need to look, but if I did, I would find, think of the word Friday. Think of the first sound that is in Friday, which is a and I would find the word that begins with a f. Nope. 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 Yes. So back to Friday. I'm going to give a capital. R I D A. Friday. Right, my next one. Oh, where he eats the the uh, lollipop, the pie, the sausage, the cupcake, and the watermelon slice. That was Saturday. Excellent. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sat er day sat sat er uh, er er d a day i'm going to try my best now to cover it and write it down capitals for sat for saturday s a t sat er and day d a Saturday. Excellent. And last but not least, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday's the easiest one to do. Let's spell sun first. Capital A. Mm. Sun day d a uh, and a uh, yeah Sunday. Let's go through our days of the week. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And boys and girls, that is your task for today. If you do not have the task sheet or the ability to print it out, that's absolutely no problem. You don't need to. All you need to do today is practice writing down your days of the week in order, starting with Monday, OK? And you can use back to the word bank on the previous slide that I told you to pause on, or you could use your sheet from yesterday, your work from yesterday. Try it your best. You don't need to get it absolutely perfect. This is all about practice. And as we know, when we practice, 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 we make an achievement, which is one of our values um, in school. So remember, if we give practice, 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 we will achieve. OK, so off you go reception. You've done super work and I am so proud of you. Bye.